I was a little like, huh? But then using it, I'm just like, oh yes. Oh my God. Guess what we're finally, finally doing. Uh, we're gonna play with the Hindash palette. I've had it for like way too long and I have not tried it yet. If you guys don't know who Hindash is, he's this incredible makeup artist from Dubai. Just really beautiful work. Like, you know what I mean? This is using his palette, I believe. So anyway, uh, someone from Hindash's team reached out to me to send me the new palette. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure you have. Uh, this is it. It's about this size. Uh, obviously, what? It's about this size. This is the size of it. Anyway, I kind of like that the name is this way. So you open it up and you have gradients. Very intriguing. One of the things that I've heard a lot about this palette, the idea behind it is that you have like so many different color combinations because you have basically two eyeshadow colors, but they blend into each other. Uh, and you can obviously mix them together. And we have like a really nice range. First of all, this like, stop. Um, you know, all kinds of colors in here. So we're gonna give it a shot. Now, I remember when I was working at a cosmetic manufacturer, we were starting a makeup line. I don't know if it ever went anywhere, but uh, we talked about doing like gradient, cause I've been gradient blushes. Um, I've seen like gradient, mostly like face products, I guess. They're really hard to do because you have to press it and make sure that it's like pressed correctly and blended correctly. I don't know how he did it because it can break really easily. Or I think that was like the reason that we like didn't do it. So I'm gonna be interested to see how this palette holds up, but it looks like pretty freaking seamless, I gotta say. Uh, when I saw the palette, like images of it for just first impressions, I wasn't like so wild about the colors, but because they're gradients, um, it's a little difficult to like look at them as like individual colors, you know what I mean? So like for instance, this was a little confusing to me. I was just like, mm, I don't know about that. And then like seeing this like warm peachy color go into a slightly more cool toned pink was like confusing to my eye. So I'm gonna be really interested to see like how it works. So for instance, I wanna kind of like swatch. It's super soft. So this is the pink and the peach. Let me zoom you in since we're working on the eyes anyway. So this is the pink and the peach next to each other, right? And then um, this color is then mixed together. So right there is just three colors, right? In that one strip. Another thing, that, oh, another thing that I really love about this palette is that it kind of like opens up your world and you realize that you can like mix shadows to create your like perfect color or a new color because I think it's something that like people don't really think about when they look at like a regular palette. So hopefully this will kind of like open up that possibility to more people. Anyway, I have absolutely no idea what I wanna do. Okay, so I'm very drawn, especially because I haven't done it in a really long time to something smoky, you know? Uh, so I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start off, what am I gonna start off with? I don't wanna be boring though. Okay, I've spent, 20 minutes looking at inspiration. And I think I'm just gonna start because I can't really decide. Uh, so let's just see like where my heart takes me. So uh, obviously I have the rest of my face on. I um, primed my lids with my Anastasia primer so that I have a nice light canvas. Uh, so I'm actually going to start off, I think with, I think I'm gonna start off with um, this side, love, I think. Love plus kills. So this is kills and this is love. I love how he did the names which is kind of like a orangey shade. Actually, I'm gonna start off with boy. So this is boy right here, this color, which is a little bit more peachy. That's wonder. So I'm gonna start off with boy and then I think I'm gonna dip into love right here. All right, so I'm gonna use a little blending brush and pick up boy, very soft. Hmm, pretty tightly pressed, not a ton of kickback. So I'm gonna look down into my mirror and what am I doing again? I don't know. I'm literally just gonna start. So I'm gonna place, place, I'm gonna place this in my crease. And I guess we'll just kind of see like what happens. I 
every time I hear the dude upstairs walking around, I'm like, oh, please don't start your treadmill or Peloton or whatever that is. Oh, that's a beautiful color. So soft and pretty. Blended beautifully. Oops, wrong color. I really love a lot of makeup artists. For instance, Pindash, Makeup by Mario. A lot of the products that they're coming out with, like their eyeshadow palettes, are incredibly user-friendly. Like just very, very soft, pigmented, but not too pigmented, not super heavy. So even beginners can really get away with using them. So pretty, just like so incredibly easy to blend. I'm gonna be, I already, I mean, I already like this so much. And just looking at all of the colors, there's so much versatility. Oh, I can't, I'm just thinking about all of the, all of the looks that are gonna be possible. You know, all of my like favorite launches recently have been makeup artists or influencers, makeup influencers. Like I just found, like obviously Auric, I've been using the shit out of the glow lusts, believe it or not, just like in my daily life. Uh, the those eye products are so beautiful vive beauty like i just absolutely loved everything about her eyeshadow palette like i just found it the other day i was cleaning this room and i found it and i was just like oh, i love all of these formulas i love like everything that everybody's making that's beautiful all right i'm gonna grab um paint Ooh, this like yellowy this like soft buttery yellowy shade and i'm gonna use the same brush i'm just gonna grab a little bit of that and I'm just gonna kind of like soften around those edges. Not going over it, but just kind of like blending around the edges, you know? I'm gonna grab a smaller blending brush, detailed crease brush from e.l.f., little guy. And I'm gonna pick up Love, which just in case you've forgotten, uh, is the more orangey side of Love Kills. I'm going to kind of start building up a little more definition in here. Super glowy, look how soft. I really hope that it's translating, especially with my like new background. I won't know until I watch this, but like, mm. very buttery. Buttery soft, idiot proof, you know what I mean? <laughs> Very easy to blend. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more Boy, just a little, on that first brush and just softly go around those edges. You know, just kind of like, uh, hopefully you can see it just does a little bit to diffuse. Something I can already tell about these eyeshadows is that because they're not like so heavily pigmented, they're very, like they're pigmented clearly. I mean, look at the payoff, but they're very soft. So if you need to go back in and blend something, like I said, they're idiot proof. They're very forgiving. All right, I'm gonna grab Kills now, just slightly more red on the little blending brush, the e.l.f. one. And I'm gonna pack that on the outer part. Oh, you can actually see, hopefully, it's a little bit more like of a berry color. So that other side was a little more orange. It's it's a lot easier to see the difference in shades once you have it on the eyes. I'll place that on the outer and inner corner. Oh my God, I just got such a craving for a pasta. <sighs> Lobster mac and cheese. Mm, I love how soft it is. Okay, so, so I think I'm gonna go in on my lid with wet from wet paint so it's this like really pretty nice like v like vanilla cream color you know i'm going to this is gonna, might look a little bit hello eh. uh this might be a little weird but this is the linda hallberg 303 brush so it's a little domed brush but it's tightly packed and i think it'll be good for um applying this i'm going to pack that in the center Throw in that space, but I'm just gonna like keep it right in the area where there isn't any product. And then I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm gonna dip back into, what do I wanna dip into? Love, I guess, the like orangey shade. No, just kidding, I'm wiping that off. I wanna pick up Boy, the first like peachy color. And then just kinda like tap around 
the edges to soften and blend. So I want more definition. I want it to be a little bit more, it's like very soft right now. I want it to be more like edgy. So I'm gonna grab Intra, which is a very beautiful, like warm, deep brown. I would love a pencil brush if I have one here. No, just kidding. <laughs> so I'm actually going to pick up Fatum. Is that Latin? This one, Fatum, which is maybe black. And then I'm gonna blend over that with Intra. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm picking that up on my brush number 10 by the Yano series by Beauty Beautylish, which has a really nice, like super soft and it has like a really nice point. And I'm gonna start kind of drawing that around my eyelid. So I'm kind of going in between those, the red, you know, kind of diffusing as I get to the top. I don't know if this is cool, but I'm into it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab that black on that same brush before I blend and I'm going to run it out here a little. Connecting up because it's very round right now, like kind of cartoony and I just like want it to be a little more badass, I don't know. Yeah, that's a little more my Steez. Okay, so similar to the Makeup by Mario palette, like I said, the shadows are very forgiving. Forgiving. Forgiving, which means that like once you put it down, you can kind of like go back in with another brush or whatever and they don't just sit. Like you can go back in and continue to blend, which is really nice. Actually, I'm pretty sure that I found the same thing with the Vive palette. All right, now I'm going to grab the, what is this, Sigma E45, small tapered blending brush, and I'm going to pick up Intra finally. So the nice warm brown, and I'm focusing these shadows on the tips of the brush. So this is a similar shape as the other one, but a little bit bigger. And I'm going to kind of blend over that. I got reckless. <laughs> oh, so easy to blend that. Thank you so much. Okay. Bro, if you think you're a makeup dummy, like, trust me, this palette is not intimidating. It might look it because of the colors and like how dark they can be, but it is not. Cool. I'm into it. What am I gonna do with my lower lash line? I kind of feel like I wanna do a similar, similar thing. Cool, all right. Uh, I'm gonna throw down some shit in my waterline. So I'm going to, I'm gonna incorporate some makeup by Mario, just since we're using like, you know, real makeup artist shit. So I'm gonna go in with the makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the perfect brown. And I'm gonna place this on the, oh my God inner and outer corner of my waterline, but I'm gonna leave the center open. I'm gonna drag a tiny little bit onto the lash line just so there aren't any gaps. And I go in with my um, eyeshadow. And then in the center, sorry, I moved my monitor so it's above my camera because I feel like it's a little bit help, more helpful. I don't know, whatever. In the center, uh, of my waterline, I'm going to use the uh, ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Extra Frosting, which is just like a pale yellow. Look at that in the center. Kind of like blending into those browns. I guess I'm gonna grab that Linda Hallberg brush. Wait, did I use paint or wet? I used wet. I'm gonna pack that in the center, keeping it close to that pale, I almost said pink, pale yellow. My camera really likes to focus on my nose for some reason. <laughs> it's like, I can see the focus thing, like it just moves around and it's like nose, okay, rude. Yeah, dude, I do this every time. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that first blending brush and I'm gonna go in with uh, Love 
the orange color and just amp up the red because I swear every time I start I start off with the color that I want and then I end up like going over it and then I miss it so I just want to amp that up a little bit but still keeping it soft but obviously like smoking a little more because it was just becoming kind of like a hint and I missed it for my lower lash line I'm just like how do I not have more brushes oh right because I didn't wash them so I'm gonna grab love the orange color on this little um, Sigma E31 domed pencil brush and I'm gonna blend underneath the brown so I'm taking it to like the outer corner blending into that liner and I'm not entirely sure maybe I'll bring it mm. Maybe I'll smoke it down a little bit. So let's build it up here and then kind of just smoke it under my eye bag. Underneath the pale yellow. Kind of mimicking what we did on the top. Maybe I'll keep it to the outer part though. So I'm gonna kind of build up that pigment once again on the outer corner and then just blending to the center. And just kind of like softening it as I get in here. I'm not going to build it up. I'm going to take Intra, the warm brown, and I'm going to use that little Beautylish brush, the pointed one. And I'm going to run that basically on that brown. Just do a little defining like that. And then I'm going to kind of just like take whatever's left over and smoke this liner. Basically just like blending it out. You know, just softening it a little bit so it's not like um, patchy. It's kind of sexy. I'm going to grab that same brush. And I just kind of want to build up this a little bit more. Do I want the blood? You know what I'm going to do? That's what this palette is for. I'm going to mix these two colors. So I'm going to go into the center. Bro. Right into the center. I'm like, you're not using this palette to its full potential. And then build this up building up the pigment and also just kind of like softening it, you know, since we've mixed the colors. And if you're in your 30s and your eyelids are not as taut as they used to be, make sure that you're looking down into a mirror. <laughs> That's going to help blending in general, but you know, something that I always forget to do. Hey Beautylish, you guys really nailed it with this uh, brush. I love it. It's super soft, but like you can basically draw like a pencil. Obsessed. I kind of feel like I don't want to put anything shimmery on my eyes now. So I'm gonna grab wet once again, just to remind you this like buttery color. And I'm gonna use a little brush. I'm use this little guy from BH, I don't know, it's just like kind of a little flat brush. And use that under my brow. Oh wow, I'm, I'm paler than I think I am. I thought that was gonna highlight, but it's kind of just like maybe darker <laughs> all right whatever we committed so i'm gonna do it on both sides yeah that's not really doing much huh i'm gonna mix wet okay i'm gonna mix wet and uh what's this called lines i'm gonna mix wet and lines so i'm just tapping back and forth between those basically i'm gonna use that which will lighten it maybe it's too soft to do any highlighting no i see a little something and then I'm going to do that same thing with those colors and that same brush. And I'm going to pack that in my inner corner. So kind of highlighting that inner corner, but I just feel like the eye is so matte, it doesn't make any sense to have anything shimmery, you know? But that kind of helps to like open up the inner corner, you know? So it doesn't look like so dark, because obviously we've got a kind of a smoky situation happening. Okay, I'm grabbing a little angled brush and I'm gonna uh, pick up Intra, which is that warm brown. And I'm literally just going to very, very carefully, because this can make my eyes look super crazy, make a point here, kind of extend the inner, I hardly even did it. I barely even did it. <laughs> it didn't even really do anything. I'm always nervous about this because it can make my eyes look too close together. Hmm. This is really cool. Super into it. All right, super random. 
but I want to add a winged liner and I want it to be super matte. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner. This guy? The last time I used a gel liner, like I have no idea. But like I need a liner brush. So I'm using the Sigma E75. Tiny little angled liner brush. Wow, I haven't done this in such a long time. Starting at the corner. Can't see anything because my mirror is super far away. Why do I why do I do that? I can bring it closer. And then I'm just gonna um not line everything but kind of like tight line my lash line a little so i guess i am technically lining it but i'm not trying to like thicken up that area i just want it to be cohesive okay i forgot how amazing this eyeliner is it's been such a long time it is very matte though Okay, so I just finished off with some lashes. These are by some brand called, I don't know if it's Live, L-I-T-H-E, Live Lashes. I'm not sure. These are in number three. Uh, just kind of like simple, but like complemented the look, I think. And then I just went in with a little bit of a nude lip liner and I reapplied this Buxom Plump, plump Shot for some reason, even though it stings my lips. I don't know why I keep using him. Uh, okay, so first of all, love. You know what I mean? Obsessed. So much fun. Uh, first of all, I haven't been able to do makeup in a week and a half because of the facial that I got. So it felt really nice to like sit down and actually like look at something different and just feel like I wanted to do something cool, you know? I have to say I'm very happy with this palette. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the finish. I love the way the, sh the shadows performed. I think that the concept is really interesting. Um, of course it came from a professional makeup artist, you know? I think that it's gonna take me a while to actually like use this palette to its full potential because of the gradients and the possibilities, but I'm incredibly impressed. I love this movement towards shadows that are forgiving, that are easy for everyone to use, but this palette absolutely does not limit creativity. So I love the colors that he chose. I'm really excited to like continue. I'm really excited about like trying these. So if you wanna see another video where I'm like using this or just another tutorial in general using this palette, please let me know, I'm happy to do it. I think I'm gonna be reaching for this quite a bit because it definitely ignited some creativity in me that I've been missing for a very long time. <laughs> um, but I highly recommend it. If, if you are, you know, if you're not super confident in your blending abilities, you don't have to feel intimidated by this because it's very user-friendly. I had an incredibly easy time using it and I'm pretty fucking happy with uh, what we came up with here. I gotta say. Um, I guess that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Sorry that it took such a long time, but you know, I've been dealing with this like skincare journey and I couldn't do my makeup for a while and honestly wasn't feeling super inspired to play with anything new, but I really, really love this. Uh, absolutely love it, man. Fuck. I gotta take some photos in the sun, you know what I mean? Anyway, if you picked this up, please let me know what your thoughts are and uh, let me know like what colors you would like to see next. I'm very intrigued by this seeing that like warm to, I mean, it's a, it's like a warmer gray. It's not necessarily cool. There's more warm tones in this than cool tones, but he does have like a bit of a spectrum, which is interesting. So, and I love that. Oh, so many things that I didn't use that I want to use, you know? Actually, just before we go, I want to swatch. Okay, so this is the brown and the gray, right? And then this is in between them. Look at that, so cool. So they mix beautifully. So he really, really did his undertones really well, you know? And then on my pinky, I'm just gonna, I wanna see if this is any different. It's a little different. So on my pinky, I just swiped, swiped the shadows like that. You see the difference in tone? So interesting. Very versatile. I'm obsessed with this idea and you know, it's a nice lightweight palette too. I don't, I didn't really talk about the packaging or anything, but you know, nice and skinny easy travel uh the matte black is definitely gonna get <laughs> i already got it really dirty but that's totally fine with me i love it i think it's really cool and i love that he called it the 
Butopsy palette. Like he's really breaking down makeup eyeshadow in it, so it makes sense to me. Um, all right guys, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you picked up this palette. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you thought of the colors when you first saw it, because like I said, I was a little like, huh? But then using it, I'm just like, oh yes. Um, I guess that's it. I'm gonna awkwardly go. I'm gonna awkwardly just like kind of um, shuffle off screen and I'll see you next time. Peace. Dude, honestly, TikToks would take like way too much work and they just look stupid in the end anyway. Oh, fuck.